Welcome to the home page of Tularity. Let's start by logging in with our ID and password. Today we're going to talk about a very important feature which is advanced call forwarding. Now how does call forwarding happen from your number to the various agents or a customer care team that you have? How does that um, happen at the back end? It's a very simple process. So here we are uh, on the welcome page. Let's look at the settings tab. It's a fourth tab right here. Let's click on that. If you look at, there is an option here called agents. Let's click on that. As I scroll down, you can already see there are some agents which I have added here and they are active agents. There's a symbol here which is green, which means these agents are active. If this agent is active again. Right? And I have deactivated some agents. I can just simply click on the activate agent button to activate the old ones. Right? Now let's see how the call forwarding actually happens. If I click on the insights tab, you'll be able to see that these are the last four or five calls which have come on the Lolarity number right here. If I click on calls and SMS, you'll be able to see some of these numbers and the agent that has spoken to all of your customers, the call duration, and you can listen to these calls as well, right? So as you can see, there is an agent name here, which is my name and my number. So this is the agent that has spoken to the customer. As you can see, I've already set an action here, which means that when the customer will call, the customer will hear a welcome sound. And as the call is answered, he will press one right and the call will be answered by this particular agent if he will press two the call will be answered by this agent if he presses three he will get connected to marketing if he presses four he'll get connected to general inquiries so now within extension one there are two agents added as you can very clearly see if he wants to directly go to finance marketing or general inquiries the customer will actually press any of these agents now let me show you how that is done Let's say uh, I'm looking at finance, if I click on edit, as you can see, there's a agents tab here. Now I can actually either not select an agent or come here and select multiple agents here. So I have selected two agents to answer phone calls that come on extension two, which is the finance department. Right. Another option I have is how do I want these calls to be forwarded? So there are three options I have. A sequential option, which means that first the call will go to the agent one. If the agent one is busy, then the call will go to the second agent. So the call will be routed in a sequential format. Or if I want a parallel format, which means that calls go to both the agents together and whoever answers first gets to speak to the agent or round robin which would mean that it goes to agent one then agent two then agent three then agent fourth if the fourth agent is busy then the call again goes back to agent one right so there is a round robin format here as well so i want to select sequential which means the call will go to the agent one if the number is busy then goes to the agent two i click on save and now when the customer calls and presses two for finance i have already allotted two agents to speak to them that is how we enable advanced call forwarding thank you